Good afternoon YouTube. Not a great deal, just a few things to update on. Um, I've got that Phalaenopsis here. I can go in and show you what's coming into spike. That's the uh, Shaolong Rosenhertz, which is a named... I don't know if that's a species because it's got a name. But anyway, that's what it is. So that's growing a nice spike. I need to change the water over. It's not actually the water that's uh, green in there. It's it's the algae growing in the bottom. I've got another one that's coming into spike here as well. And that one is another named fowl, which is young pin leopard. So that will be interesting when that one comes out. Um, I don't know if they're species because, you know, they've got names. I don't know. But um, anyway, we'll see. As you can see, I've got my air plants now. So they look good. I've got one here. In with the turtles. It's looking quite nice. And I've put some of them in with the fowls like um, Susan Messick did. And I thought they looked really cool. I've also got a flock of sheep. <laughs> and I'll show you what they like. And there they are. <laughs> it's just a bit of fun. I thought they looked really cute. Another exciting thing that's happened is, I don't know if you can see back there. Can you see that shadow in there? That is going to be a flower. And I'm very, very excited because it'll be the first time, first flower for me on this one. And that's a Paphlopedium in Signy. So I'm very, very excited about that. I didn't think these paths were doing anything. So obviously something's come in there and I've looked at the others, can't see anything in the others. This is the one that was flowering when I got it, and that one's finished now. Um, and I've looked in these, and I can't see much happening in these. And that one. But, that one is, and I know these take flipping forever to come out. But that's okay. We can be patient. And another thing I did, I bought this little, it's actually a candle holder. Um, and I don't know if you remember, this is a an extra um, plant that I had when I ordered these babies. One of them had two plants in the pot. Um, and this was a very tiny seedling. So I've put that one in there. And I don't know if you can see, it has got, I can zoom in, zoom in. Whoops, I've discovered with this... Uh, laptop that I can zoom in but it isn't a very good picture but there is the first leaf that came broke off but there is a second leaf new leaf coming in down the bottom there so I'm hoping that one's going to be coming away so that's another phalaenopsis in there I know that's probably going to be far too small for it eventually but it's, I'm just giving it a nice sort of environment there to see if it'll uh, perk up a bit um, I don't think there's much else happening inside the house obviously this one's extending its uh, spike it's coming down and down and down and that one's going really well that is flowered for months and months and months and it's a very pretty one too gorgeous um, other than that I think that's about it really nothing much else to show in here I've got a couple more sheep on there and on there they're cute i like things like that anyway we'll go out in the orchid house and see what's happening out there now right out in the orchid house now so the changes are my husband's put a nice um sturdy shelving unit there for me which is a lot better and i can put some of the plants on it so the streptocarpus is on there and the cymbidium is on the top I've got some other plants along the top of that one because he put another rack on there. Put the other bulbs, 
back bulbs and viridiums there at the front and I've got a few sort of house plants here and there dotted around just to make it a bit backlight so make it look nicer this um, Motonia I think that was a Miltonia. Yeah, Milton Miltonia is still flowering nicely. So that's doing good. The other one's going over now. So I shall be cutting those spikes back soon. Um, the other changes, I've now got four shelves out here. So I've put the, uh, the mounts at the top. Because that's not a very deep shelf. Or not a very tall shelf. And... Some of the other plants down along there so I can see lots of spaces. Mm-hmm. We'll be getting some more plants to fill those spaces. And spikes out here. So this one here, which I grew myself, this spike, and I'm very proud of. It's coming away now. It's it's getting quite tall. In actual fact, I feel think it's grown grown a bit since I looked at it yesterday. It's just starting to get its shaping um on the on the ends there so it will determine how many buds it's got um, I've brought it to the edge of the shelf because um, I think this gets quite tall so I'm hoping it's going to grow up beyond this piece of shelf up into the light in the next shelf that one there is just oh, it's just sat there um, it's getting, oh, I don't know if it's getting taller or no, but it's it just doesn't seem to be developing anymore. And I think that could be, along with these two down here, uh, where are we? Down here, which has got three sheaths on that one and a spike on that one. I think they probably have come to a bit of a stop standstill because I got these three plants in sheath and spike when uh, when I purchased them and they've come down from the North Island so I think they've just had a bit of a bit of a shock um, because it's not so humid down here oh, although having said that we're on 76 today but we're only on 17 degrees and it is warmer on the North Island than it is down here on the South Island but anyway um, I'm just oh, I'm willing them Willing them on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get some blooms going. Um, but anyway, I've just got to be patient. And it's hard being patient when you just want them to bloom. The uh, tree fern mount's doing great. As you can see, it's got a few more fronds out now. And the two cattleyas I put on there are looking good. So they're looking good. And like I say, all the mounts are looking nice and healthy up there. So that's about it, really. Not much has changed. Um, very quiet time of the year. Obviously, I'm coming into my autumn now. Hence the horrible weather outside. We've had huge, huge amounts of rain in the last few days. There's great puddles everywhere. Um, and the lawn's all flooded. And it's all flooded over there as well, over the front of the patio. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. But there's, uh, yeah, but we could do with the rain, so can't complain. Anyway, that's all for now. Anything else? And as soon as those blooms open, you'll be the first to know. After me, of course. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.